Hello and welcome back to my nail corner. That is my MVP designs video from earlier this week. I'll pop it up in the cards for you guys if you didn't check it out. I did some sugared nails and a few of them have popped off, but there they are. This is the collection from Nail Addiction. They're like Christmas holiday colors. I thought they were so pretty. I really, really liked these. Um, I love that she incorporated a couple of blue ones. They have fun like Hanukkah themed names. I am going to use that Deck the Halls. It's a green, a, green, a green and red glitter mix. And I had an inspo picture in Pinterest for like years. Oh, and this is Manny Boss Snowball Fight. This is actually my first Manny Boss um, powder that I've used. There will be more because you guys, so, so good. So if you haven't checked out Nail Addiction or Manny Boss and their holiday colors, make sure you check them out because they're so good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Pinterest picture. I'm gonna pop my Pinterest inspiration picture in here. I saw this years ago and I loved it. I really, really loved it. I thought it was so like simple, but clearly holiday themed. And I've always wanted to do it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my spin on it and I'm doing it. And I love an ombre lately. I just, I could ombre everything and I try to mix it up so that it's not like the same old same old all the time for you guys like that's not fun to see um in like Instagram pictures or in tutorials like how many times do you guys need me to show you an ombre but I love an ombre and I do feel like at first I was really uncomfortable with them and then I slowly was like I don't know getting a better outcome and I still have my days where I'm like, oof, that did not turn out as I was hoping. But um, lately, I've been really digging the ombres, some vertical ombres. Oh, if you guys weren't over on Instagram this week, I posted a picture of a triple D mani I did. And it's their um, I'm Not What You Pink, which does glow in the dark. It's a white powder that glows in the dark pink. And I just think that name is so fun. And then, um, but for once, the glowing part was not the point of my mani. I used Candy Cane Lane. Candy Cane Lane is like glitters and foils and shimmers and all the things in one. And I did one accent nail and then one with a vertical ombre. And I could have worn that mani until the new year. I swear to you, I loved it so much. I love a white nail. I loved the vertical ombre and the way it fell. I was just super, super happy with it. You know those days when you have a mani and you're just like, Yes, nailed it. That's what I was going for. That's what I envisioned. And I love it so much. The shape is right. The colors are right. Like it's just your jam. I don't know. I don't feel like that happens that frequently, which is a shame because I do my nails a lot, but that one was my jam. So if you want to see like what manis look like in my mind's eye, that was my fave. Um, this one was also a recent favorite. I loved how this turned out and wore it for several days, which I know that doesn't sound long. You guys are like, um, I wear my manis for two weeks. Well, I don't. <laughs> I get a couple days at most out of a mani. And um, this one I wore for several days and I really liked it. It had me feeling all the Christmas vibes. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you try to recreate. And if you do, just tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys create. It gives me inspiration. It gives me motivation to keep creating things. And I just love to see pretty nails. So always feel free to tag me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two dips of this white and then get into my glitter ombre application. And I will be back to chat with you more in just a minute.
All right, so if you haven't been with me for an ombre before, this is the brush I like to use. It's a wet n wild like eyeshadow brush. And if you look down in the description box, I have an Amazon storefront and any tools that I use, I try to drop in that storefront. I do make a small commission I don't even know what, it's probably like a couple cents off of purchases that are made out of my Amazon storefront, so feel free to shop there. But these brushes are literally like, I don't know, 80 or 90 cents. And I have one that I use solely for glitters and then another I use for dark pigments and another one for lighter powders. So um, yeah, this is how you ombre. So I put some glitters on the brush. I angle my finger downward, let gravity do a little bit of the work for you to let it kind of fall. And then you wanna start kind of above your cuticle you know when you hold your nail down you want to hold it the brush above your cuticle so you're starting as close to the cuticle as possible and then working your way towards the tip a little bit if you kind of think you need to start towards the middle of the nail it's going to be a problem because you're going to get a whole bunch of glitter right there in the middle of your nail and it's much easier to work your way towards the tip because once you get it on the nail you're not gonna you can't get it off <laughs> unless you want to buff and start over you're stuck with it so start as close to the cuticle as possible and then work your way slowly towards the middle of the nail until you have the look that you're going for so yeah there's no exact science to ombre which is i i think why i love it so much it's just kind of naturally happening and um and there's no really wrong way to do it so it's just what you like to look at so i'm going to finish up this ombre and get a clear cap on i am using nail addiction liquids i've talked about them before but if you guys are new here i really like their liquids i was a little bit scared they have um a base and top coat in one which is what i'm using and that made me nervous. I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know why, because really base and top coat with most brands are almost identical formulas, if not identical. Um, but yeah, every time I use this, I am I love it equally as much. And her activator, I have to say, it has a unique scent to it. And when I say scent, I'm saying it specifically instead of smell, because it's like... I don't know I have to ask her if it's actually an added scent because it almost has like a I don't know like a sweet like a vanilla almost to it so um so I like using that activator because it's not as strong like chemically smell as um, just about every other activator on the market is so anyway uh if you guys have used nail addiction liquids you know what I'm talking about or maybe not, maybe I'm crazy, who knows. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple minutes to give you guys my final thoughts on this mani.
so I went ahead and filed and buffed and now I am activating again because after you file and buff you need to reactivate if you are using a dip top coat. If you're using gel you don't need to but I'm using a dip top coat today so you want to reapply your activator because activator is what makes your dip top coat cure. So if you're new to dipping and you need a step-by-step, -step, I will pop a card up here for my beginner-friendly step-by-step tutorial, all the things that you could possibly need to know about doing dip application. I am wiping the excess activator off my fingernails. I know that seems counterintuitive, like apply activator because you need it, but then wipe it off. You're just wiping off excess, like you don't want activator dripping or accumulating because if it gets into your top coat, it's going to contaminate your top coat. So dip top coat is applied in two to three quick swipes over the nail. You want to wipe your brush before you put it back into your jar to avoid that activator from contaminating your liquids. It will make them get all thick and goopy because again, it's curing your top coat. So if you get activator in your jar of top coat, you're basically curing that jar. So it's, it's going to get goopy. So quick swipes for your first application and then go right back around. Start at the first fingernail you did in the first place go back through and this coat you can do a little bit more thoroughly a little bit slowly get around all the way to your side walls cuticle and free edge and that's it so dip top coat is not in one application it's not in three applications it is two coats and that's it that's how it works that's the science so make sure if you're having issues with your dip top coat application that you follow those steps pretty specifically. Some people set timers for your activation. I've never felt that necessary, but follow those steps very closely and you should get a good shiny top coat. So I hope that helps if you're having any issues with your top coat application. So I really liked how this turned out. What do you guys think? Does it feel festive? I felt like it was festive, but not like in your face. Like I could wear this to my husband's work Christmas party and it would feel Christmassy, but not like, you know, tinsel all over your face kind of anyway um, I am going to finish up with my cuticle candy as per usual it's really important important to keep your cuticles hydrated and healthy and thanks for being here you guys I will see you in my next bit bye now